<laughs> to my great and wonderful people watching this video for the first time and joining us, <laughs> please, if you are yet to subscribe, I beg, I beg, be cool now. Just subscribe to this YouTube channel. A number of you just watch our video and I know they subscribe. Even for watching, I don't say times without number. I say thank you very much. Kudos, bravo to you guys for even watching. I understand. But no busy, you go just watch a little. Just subscribe and like this video and drop your comment at the comment section. And even after subscribing, do what to put it on your bell notification bell icon so that you get notified by YouTube. You understand? I see the B now. So that is all it. God bless Nigeria and God bless my Niger people. So, my people, which I want to talk about today, hmm, now about this matter with the on ground, about this now the canoe hmm, and President Bola mentioned about the federal government of Nigeria and the IPOP, the Biafra people. So, my amiable Biafra people, you understand? May now come watch this video, share this video, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. You know, a number of things has actually been happening since um, Nadi Kanu has been arrested. To some people, they talk, say Nadi Kanu, they do pass himself, he ought not to do things like that. Nigeria must not be divided. And some people, they said Nigeria, now division might be our solution. If I were to ask you watching, do you think division has what it takes to solve the current pollution issue where they happen for this country? And number of things will be saying no, they go away. Do you think division and regionalism will be said to say they want to as what it takes to solve this problem? So drop your comment at the comment section of this video. A number of Nadika Nuno has not actually come out times to that number. Say hmm, President Bola made you know, but if you know what is good for you, please we need Nadika now or else <laughs> now we'll to for everywhere for this country. So, guys, I will not want to spend too much of your time. I want to actually watch a video of what this man said regarding the, the unlawful detention of Nadika. We'll be saying they just postpone his judgment. You also what happened, we'll be say they are now planning for negotiation between Nadika and the federal government of Nigeria. And you could see this man. There was a time whereby we, we saw a video whereby he, he, he was complaining that he's not healthy. He's, you know, they want to kill him. They want to make him, you understand? He have to receive treatment. And even the doctor, they actually brought to treat him in prison. <laughs> the doctor said, he just get a CB. He was not actually able to treat him. That was what Nadi Kanu said. And when some, some, of, some, some of the journalists was interviewing, they said, why is it that you keep wearing the same clothes, the same clothes every time? They said, <laughs> my people, that's why I see him. So guys, I just wanted to watch the video to the end and Subscribe to this YouTube channel. A number of Biafra people is shouting freedom from Nadikan. People like Samuel Epa is agitating for his Biafra people. Do you think this Biafra of a thing will actually stand? Watch this video to the end and subscribe. And waiting people they talk say Tinubu. <laughs> please release Nadikanu. And even pe people are actually calling on Peter Obi and several Igbo people to actually fight for the freedom of Nadikanu. And all they are saying is nothing must happen to Nadikanu. So guys, watch and subscribe to this YouTube channel. 247 News Update got you covered. That uh, they killed military in Aba, you are an idiot. The people that were killed in Aba are terrorists. And that's exactly what they are. They have killed Biafras enough and we applaud whoever that did it. It is a military that are infiltrated by terrorists and terrorists that they, they are. We have seen the killings of Biafras for many, many decades, and nobody has, you know, done anything about the killings of Biafra people. And like we continue to say, anywhere you are in Biafra land, representing Nigeria, carrying gun, as a military, as a police, as any security agent in, uh, under Nigeria, in Biafra land, Biafra does not belong to you. You are staying there illegally, and you'll be treated like a terrorist, because that's what you are. This is the order of the Biafra Republic government in exile, and the Biafra de facto government in the homeland. We have Biafra defense forces that are taking care of all the security situation in our land. And those of you who think that we are joking, believe me, the time you kill people and go free is gone. We have activated a lot of self-defense to the maximum. And Biafra land will be defended ruthlessly like never before. So those of you who cry and start shouting, Oh, military, this military, that. Which military? Did you not hear former General T.Y. Danjuma say, carry gun, defend yourself. If you rely on Nigeria military, you are all going to be killed and you will die. Yes. He was, he was a general. Do you know better than him? He served Nigeria, fought Biafra war against Biafra people. Yet, he came out to say, if you do not rise up with arms and rely on Nigeria army, 
you will all die one by one. Only Biafra people under this government in exile understood the call yes. of the white Danjuma. And today, it can never be wiped wipe away out of the Nigerian history. He is a man who stood up once upon a time and spoke the truth without fear. Today, we understand him very well because we know exactly what is going on. But some of you, the morons, who think you are getting peanut from Nigeria, you think that we are going to sacrifice our people, the life of our women and children, just because you are going to give people peanut. No. We have come out for this freedom, and this freedom we will fight, making sure that those who come to kill before and go free will not come again and kill and go free. And like I said, checkpoint in Biafra land remain banned. Those of you who are falling victim today, you have to be very security conscious. What I want to do is to intimidate you, to instill fear in you by continual enforcing disappearance of Biafrans, abducting you, making video, putting you in a van. That is not going to stop the movement and the liberation of Biafra. If they like, they should go to Abia State, pack everybody in the street. It is not going to stop the liberation. And those of you in Abia State, in Aba, we have been warning to stay away from anything military. In both their checkpoint, whenever you see their vehicle, stay away. Don't go closer because these are terrorists. All they do is to abduct you. And if you give yourself so cheaply, you become a victim. And becoming a victim cannot stop the liberation of Biafra people. We are almost 80 to 90 million people. Do not allow yourself to be used as a sacrifice. We are all going to make it to the end. And those of you that are condemning what happened in Aba after many years of sharing lifeless bodies of Biafrans on social media, I will only say shame on you. We have just started. Nigeria government is a terrorist government. And what the Biafra Defense Forces are doing now is to target where this enforcement of disappearance of Biafra people are taking place, and we're going to neutralize them. The next target is to make sure we know exactly where they have their weapons. Their armory will destroy everything. You can't, not in Biafra land. If you have your armory under Nigeria, put it, take it in Kaduna, put it there. Go to Lagos, go to Abuja. When you want to attack us in Biafra land, you bring it. But you see, in Biafra land, your armory can never stay. It doesn't happen today, it will happen tomorrow. So when we are saying it, we will tell you, first of all, before it happens. Our target is to make sure we neutralize every armory of Nigeria within Biafra territory. Because that's where the terrorism, the power to commit terrorism, out of terrorism against Biafra people, are happening. We have been warning about Obinze. Because there they have freezer where the body parts of Bia France are being kept. One day, they will wake up and Obinze is gone. I swear to God. One day, they will wake up, Obinze is gone. And let me tell you, Musa came out, came out on national television to say that they have adopted what they call um, jungle welfare. You know what that means? It is jungle welfare. We have adopted gorilla welfare in self-defense. They have adopted jungle welfare. He said it on national television. When a chief, a military chief, came to television to tell you that the military of their own country have adopted a jungle welfare. You know what that means? Do you understand what when they say they have given him a jungle justice? You know what that means? Jungle justice means that when you catch, when you catch somebody, a suspect who is not even who you are not even sure that the person have committed a crime. What do you do? You lynch the person. That is jungle justice. Now, this military have told you, Musa, it is a record that they have adopted what they call jungle welfare. Against who? Against Biafra people. And you are expecting Biafra carrying guns. 
and allow them to succeed with their jungle justice. Never. Whoever gets each other first, you, you, succeed, you know, you succeed. So if they get us first, they are they have they are lucky. But when we get them first, and this is going to continue happening until they realize that they can never defeat Biafra with guns and bullets. Never. I told them, if you think that all this shooting gun in Biafra land, blocking road and making checkpoint, instilling fear and asking people to hands up where they are going on their daily, uh, you know, uh, activities will bring us down. Believe me, you are joking. The harder you come on us, the harder we go. No, let nobody think that intimidation, harassment, and terrorism will stop Biafra freedom from exiting Nigeria or Biafra from exiting Nigeria. It's, not, it's going to make us more stronger. So if Nigeria is thinking that they are going to defeat us by gun, my, my brothers, my sisters, they are making a very big mistake. They can never defeat us. The war we are fighting against Nigeria is you they see me, I know they see you. We own the land. You don't know our terrain. We know our terrain. When we strike you, the rest is history. And I wonder why they are not talking about those that Biafra Defense Forces are neutralizing in Nemo State. Do you know how many thousands? Do you know when they deploy 2,000 military to the southeast? Do you know when they go? Do you know that sometimes they say, oh, they have approved the deployment of 1,500? Do you know what they do in Biafra land? They kill our people. They kill our women and children. They came with jungle welfare. They said it. So some of you, when they are speaking this English, if you do not understand, ask somebody to translate and interpret. When they speak, they say they have adopted what they call the jungle welfare. A military who claim they want to protect your country, want to tell you they have adopted. Against who? Against you. Against the Biafra people. And you expect us to allow them to stay in our land, to perpetrate jungle, ju jungle welfare, to carry out the jungle welfare, it is not going to be possible. We will continue to neutralize these terrorists until they are withdrawn completely from Biafra. Our demand is very simple. Withdraw your military. We have now gotten what we call the mandate of over 30 million. Even the president did not get 30 million vote from the entire Nigeria. Do you understand the point? And this is why they are scared of, of organizing any referendum because the Biafra people are going to, not only Biafra, indigenous people in Nigeria are going to disgrace those supporting one Nigeria. That's why they will never support any referendum. Well, we don't care. The government of Biafra have organized the referendum. We are going to pursue the legitimacy. We are going to pursue that this particular referendum that is being conducted, the second phase is ongoing now, after the declaration of the restoration of the independent state of Biafra. Believe me, we will fight Nigeria, fight Nigeria until nothing will remain of Nigeria within Biafra territory. That is the only way to preserve our culture, value, save our life, generation to come, save our women and children like the Biafra Defense Forces have done it up to this point. And I'm very, very happy that Tinubu has officially declared war. But we are going to disappoint him. The way we are going to fight this war is our own way. That is one thing I like about the Biafra Defense Forces. You don't detect what they do. They dictate for it. It is our war. We will fight it in our own way. But thinking that you are going to defeat Biafra this time around, you are joking. You must pay dearly for genocide against us. You must pay for the massacre of children that are innocent, that knows nothing about agitation. You must pay for the blood you spilled on the street of Abba. You must pay for the blood of Biafrans you spilled at Umpo. You must pay for the massacre of Biafra in Iguacha. You know, Bibo. You must pay for forcing the disappearance of over 40,000 Biafrans. You must pay for those who are dying in your dungeon on daily basis. Believe me, you must pay. And this war is our own way. We dictate how we fight it. So, dear friends, when we assured you that the only thing that will stop this particular calamity 
from befalling Nigeria is one. They pull out the every military checkpoint out of the Afro land. Two, they respond to the application we have filed at the Banjul court at the AU. Three, they claim that I am not reachable, that they, they, they want to negotiate with me and I'm not reachable. I have had that several. So, and I'm making myself available today that only country and only government that will summon me to negotiate with Nigeria for the freedom of Biafra will be Finland. They will be the mediator. And that war is our own way. We dictate how we fight it. So, Biafrans, when we assured you that the only thing that will stop this particular calamity from befalling Nigeria is one, they pull out the every military checkpoint out of the Afro land. Two, they respond to the application we have filed at the Banju court at the AU. Three, they claim that I am not reachable, that they, they, they want to negotiate with me and I'm not reachable. I have had that several. So, and I'm making myself available today that only country and only government that will summon me to negotiate with Nigeria for the freedom of Biafra will be Finland. They will be the mediator. And that is the only thing I have on the table. If it is not Finland to be a mediator, you can never negotiate with me. And negotiating with me is, first of all, pulling out the military out of the street, releasing Mazenam the Kano that you kidnapped from Kenya. You cannot be a kidnapper and condemn kidnapping in your country. You are the leader of the kidnappers. You went to Kenya and committed international crime of kidnapping. And then when I listen to Nigerians who are, uh, you know, gullible, shouting, kidnappers in Enugu, kidnappers in, uh, in Zamfara. Oh, Nigeria. Why should Nigeria do anything about it when they're actually leading the kidnapping business? Do you know how much they spent to go to Kenya to kidnap us in Amerika? Do you know how much they paid in ransom? To people who gave information about Mazin Amdikano, you can see their activities on social media. Today, they change for every day. They say Samanekpa is working with Maz uh, Nigeria government. Samanekpa is working with Tinubu, thinking that when they blackmail me, all these things, they you know they are going to succeed. Where are they today? They are gone. So my people in Ireland and any person that is having the privilege to listen to me today. You must harden your heart. Be brave. Stand before your enemy without intimidation. Speak for the favor and the interest of your people. When they tell you, oh, Simon Akbar is speaking and the army is coming to kill. Is that what you want to be proud of? Do you want to be proud of a system where Simon Akbar will speak and they will go and kill somebody else? Do you want to continue to support the system where people will go and defend the Biafra land by making sure that those who come to kill them enforce the disappearance of their brothers and neutralize and they go and start attacking innocent people. Is that the kind of system you want to support? For how long? But this has been the modus operandi of those who call themselves military. When people who carry gun attack them, they don't attack those who carry gun. They go to women. They go to uh, you know young girls, young boys of Biafra and they start mass arrests and those people they arrest may never come back. Is that the kind of system you want to support? Why don't they go after those who come to attack them with gone? Why don't they look for where they are to go and attack them? Because they have gone. You go and attack people who, did, who don't have gone? You go and attack people who have nothing to... Is that the kind of system you want to support? If you want to support that kind of system, believe me, that particular system will be your fate. If it is not your fate today, it's going to be your fate tomorrow. Those who carry gun will be will come after you. I am telling you the fact. So our what are we advocating for? If you believe that people are attacking with gun, remember you attack them first. Remember also that if you want to attack people with gun, you go to those people who attacked you with gun to attack them, fish them out. If you feel you control their fraternity, go to where they are. You say you are a government. You control the, the you have a state governors. You have police. You have all the security apparatus. Why don't you go after the people that carry gun? Why would you go after innocent people? That is my concern. That's why I can never, ever, ever shift 
even one even one step from supporting those who are neutralizing the terrorists in our land this has been happening for decades any place any time armed group attack any military you know you don't even giving them calling them military is uh, you know you know upgrading them they are terrorists that's what they are state terrorism when they attack them or the, you will see nigerians on social media oh the people now is the innocent people now are going to pay for this and they are validating this kind of impunity what kind of word is this what kind of what kind of control is that they are already most of the people saying this thing are living abroad have you seen where a crime happens somewhere let us even call it a crime because this is not a crime this is a war we are already at war with nigeria president bolatinubu have declared war musa have declared jungle war he says it's a jungle warfare and you are there somewhere where you live you know you know or your country where you live and say oh the innocent people innocent people are now going to pay the price is that how they handle security issues in your own country where just because somebody does something everybody in that area become a, a suspect not even a suspect you start killing them that is the system we must resist and the only way to resist that system is what the biafra government in israel is doing today to free biafra from such nonsense from such shambolic so from such nomadic system of government where the innocent will always pay because they have made themselves available that's why we are saying whenever this thing is happening as a biafra stay away from military checkpoint stay away from anything if you see military run because these are not humans they are not there for you anywhere you see nigeria anybody if you don't carry gun, no if you are an innocent biafran see military <inaudible> man <inaudible> carry <inaudible> run because all they look for is who to default they are not there you know to to protect your right or you know you know uh, know what is rule of engagement they have no training you see the people that they train six months some of them don't, don't even go to training they, they don't know what is the rule of engagement it is complete terrorist organization who wear camouflage and carry gun you know under nigeria state so we can never allow them to breed in biafra land i see them sharing my video i see them sharing my videos oh someone is taking responsibility and so what we are at war do you think we see a military in checkpoint we go and start giving them pure water then we collect water water is war and i have said it musa have declared war is he call it jungle welfare all these videos are evidences in case any day they come tomorrow and say something about this we have evidences that they have declared jungle welfare and we are in gorilla warfare it is war so kill me i kill you and when we kill them and it is the public they start crying like i said no military checkpoint is allowed in biafra land if your checkpoint if you are still standing in checkpoint today don't worry your day is coming this is what i'm going to drop here and the only way is that nigeria must pay for all the killings of biafra we have everything documented and i would like the media team after this particular outing today caught those particular annexes we have shared to almost every countries of the world including european union united nation and all that they can avoid you know trying to know about it to all we care nobody is going to defend our land for us it is us they don't care all they care is our oil they care our natural resources they care nothing about us so we are going to do everything humanly possible to make sure that those who kill us before 